Pentatonix. Imagine 30 seconds first time reaction. Hey, oh, hey, it's Matt Crisquolo. How about keeping it down in the cheap seats? Hey, look, I'm coming to you up close and personal. And this time we're going to react to uh, Imagine by the Beatles. Anyway, this is a great song. Everybody knows it. It's a classic. So it should be fun to hear what these guys do with it because they always do something cool. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel, please, so we can stay in touch. That would be wonderful. And also, uh, you know, click that bell icon. That way we can uh, you can be notified when I release another Pentatonix video. So let's get right to it, shall we? Bam! comes this cat this guy's stepping up to the mic i love all of their voices i don't have a preference for either one of them i think they're all just wonderful so but he's going to step up and i'm excited to hear what he's gonna what he's gonna do with this so far i'm d digging it man especially when they throw a couple of little twisties harmonically in there things that aren't in the original you know when we when we have the original in our head it's embedded in our head we we know exactly the roadmap of where that song is going to go because it's in our head so when a very artistic and uh, qualified group actually rearranges it just a little bit enough to just kind of you know, or a lot of it whatever your 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 taste is but but when especially when they throw in a couple of little twisties you you know you go like whoa <laughs> you know it catches your attention it, it gives you some tension and release that's kind of uh, interesting in my opinion what do you think tell me a little bit about the song about these this arrangement about these uh, you know what do you what do you know about it i'm curious <laughs> Will be as one.
may say I'm a dreamer. Ah, uh, okay. I hate to stop it there, but this is a reaction video. <laughs> wow. Isn't that just amazing? I was surprised that they did that, but pleasantly surprised. And I think it's great that they did that. Look, it's not going to be popular with everybody. Some people don't want to see that. And it's maybe a little unfortunate that they don't want to see that because they're so, you know, attached and tethered to their identity, political identity, that they might look at that and say, uh, but if, you know, if you put yourself back to when you were just a kid, you know what I mean? I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, uh, I was fortunate enough to grow up that I didn't even think about any of this political stuff. I didn't think about LGBTQ, whatever it is. It, it, just to me that everybody was just everybody. And it was cool. And it was nice. And it was beautiful. And it was innocent. Okay, granted, when you know kids think as kids do. and uh, uh, But hey, listen, sometimes the kids got it right. And I think in some ways I had it right. We all had it right. And sometimes we get it wrong as adults. We think we have it right. But I think these guys got it right. I think these guys got it right. You know, anyway, that's just my opinion. And I'm not even saying anything about, you know, political party or anything. I'm talking about the human party. You know. But I'm not the only one. going to pause it there don't yell at me hopefully i didn't miss something very important at the end that you know and if i did well let me know but listen i don't edit my videos so i'm assuming you don't want to watch the credits going out anyway um we have to celebrate i'm not going to preach here i'm just going to remind you how we how lucky we are that you know music brings us all together in harmony uh that we despite our uh, differences uh, of ideologies or political uh, views and whatever the, that music can bring us all together as a community um, and that we can enjoy beautiful music together and I think that's a great thing that it can do that that we should be celebrating and championing these great artists because uh, they took a, a chance of going into something into a field that it's very difficult to make any to make a living at but they did it because they you know, they, they wanted to, uh, they were passionate about, and I know this from personal experience, I did the same thing. I went into music full speed ahead because I loved music. I did not really concern myself with making a living until it became time to think about making a living. And that happens to all of us. And these guys also have to make a living. So if you have to, maybe, you know, if you love their music, hey, listen, once in a while, buy something from them on on, on, on wherever you can buy music, if, if you could still buy it. But show a little love and support. They're going to make a couple of pennies from that. Go see them live and all that good stuff. And support this channel and other channels too. I'm sure that all of these artists have their own channels. If you get a second, visit them and check it out. But anyway, enough of that. I don't want to go there because I don't want to sound sanctimonious. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you guys very much. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Thanks for turning me on to the pentat to Pentatonics. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Check out my Patreon. Now I have merchandise. I have shirts and T-shirts. You know, uh, mugs. This mug. This kind of a mug. So if you want to go check it out in the description, you can even buy me a cup of coffee if you want. Anyway, listen. It's nice to uh, it's it's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. And you take it easy. And if it's real easy. Take it twice.